Indeed, my heart breaks when I remember the past. Looking at the rich, vibrant cultural heritages of the Acholi and the Alur people reminds me to trace their origin. According to a legend, God the Molder lowered the first man on earth, and Luo was his name. From Luo sprang the people now alive. Luo had a granddaughter who bore forth triplets. These brothers lived a life cursed by their quarrels and jealousies among themselves, which led to their splitting up. This is what happened. Does the bull keep his spear? Quick! Why do you need it? Woman, do not delay me. A huge brown tusk elephant feeds in the millet feed yonder. It must die. I need a weapon. I have no ruling over Nyabongo's spear. He is your brother. I am nothing but a woman, a wife to him. Yippee! You don't take Nyabongo's spear. You should know your brother's temper. Yippee! Yippee! Oh, what please. is it? I saw Gipir bolt away his spear in hand. That was him. What was that spear for? Ah, the fool. What are spears for? Whose spear was it? Nyabongo's. My husband's. Doesn't he fear Nyabongo's anger? Is he immune to his taunt? He needed the spear desperately. But your brothers, why should you have strict possessions among yourselves? But it is madness to take Nyabongo's spear. Tifur, you are a blacksmith. Why can't you make me play spears yourself? Did you sleep well, brother? Yes, I did. Did you also sleep well? Yes. But I only dreamt of river, full of spirit, washing me alone to loneliness. That was a bad dream. I too had a bad dream. My wife told me that. I cried all night, like a morning down. Indeed, something grateful may soon come our way. Yes, please. Make ready some water for baby. I'll go I have not seen you for more than a day. But I thought I saw him. When? Just as I came along here. Father, father. Yes, sir. There was an elephant in our field. And he feel hard as spear at it. Where did it land? Come on, let's go before it's all fouls, give it. When he feel hard as spear, the beast fall with the great gun. Then he feel two kiss on and blew the throne of victory. Did the elephant die there? No. It got up and fell, got up and fell. Nipir was happier to see the beast fall with the greater crash. The fifth time, it ran away with the spear in its body and he ran after it. But father, that was your actual son spear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My ancestral spear? Yes. Woman, you must have given a way my spear. Look, you rage right at me even before you know it is. Admit, you gave my spear away. What if I did? Then who told you to? You rest, woman. The fool. Do you see the damage this woman has done? The bongo. Please. You are eaten up by anger. Son. Yes, Did you say that the elephant read with my spear? I know your spear very well. The fool! You had for yourself. My ancestral spear is gone. I will go and help Gipir chase the animal, the, the elephant. An elephant is an animal that takes its revenge on man. Yes, the animal will take its revenge on Gipir. But husband, what drives you so hard on a brother? Shut that animal, woman! 
Osha, yes, go. Get me my plum headwear. I will go to the field and capture my spear myself. No, do not go. Yes, go. No, do not go. Yes, go. Shall I fetch him then? Now I shall settle down. I shall not go. The pair himself must bring back my spear. If he does not, I shall be enraged. I shall grow furious. He will cry in my hand, helpless. Have you found my treasure? Where is the bear? Was the elephant there? No. I could not trace the footsteps. Even the dust that trail behind it has vanished. Sun, yes, in which direction did it run? It went, it went towards where the sun rises. Someone is panting like a dog after a pursuit. Oh! Gipir! Where is my spear? Who gave it to you? And how did you come to possess it? You rain questions on me, brother. Have you no shame? You lost my spear out of Shaspai. I knew you wanted to deprive me of my gift one day. Now, Oshak, call your mother. My ancestral spear guard, overall I possess, is gone. Now, Tifun, look at that figure, crushing clumsily like a heap of rotten eggs. That figure gave my spear away to this man out of sheer vanity. Bra brother, you read. Please listen to what happened. I want no stories, but my spear, okay? Nyabongo. You provoke danger to quarrel about an animal of dread, like an elephant. If you could wait till tomorrow, yes, I could have his spear replaced. Impossible! I will take no replacement. Who can replace an ancestral gift from the first man? But Nyabongo, a replacement. What? <laughs> replacement? You have been lowered into giving him my spear. You woman will greet him. But I've not lain with her. How do I know you did not? What other act is so sweet to move a woman into giving a sacred possession? <laughs> Nyabongo, <laughs> you're being shame on me. Indeed, this is shame before us all. And I hate you all. <laughs> Nyabongo, you train me hard. You rampage and cast us all. Have we tolerant and cool? <laughs> but now, I've resolved to go and come back when I've retrieved that spear. I shall follow the animal that strangled my good name, even to the land of death itself. You go! Listen! As long as I have my gods and charms around me, Who cares? I'm contented like a thieving hyena. If you hear the sound of this one, know that I'm back with your spear. If you are nothing, do not mourn. Because the son of law shall be dead. And who cares? Just be the leopard drum for the leopard. Just be the leopard drum for the ritual ceremony. And beat them loud. And stay well. There goes the son of law. A man deep and furious like a wounded buffalo. Bongo, anybody can see that you have caused the curse on your lineage. You provoke a fight, you woman. In my time of high temper, I would bring life out of you. If my brother is dead, he's dead. What else? But you drove him to his death. You accused him of playing rhythm with me. Yeah, Bongo, maybe if he's dead, he may be free of your wrath. He may be rotting in strange fields eaten up by crows and worms. But how do you know he's dead? It has been long since he went. We have harvested three crops since he departed. Truly, some dreadful fate must have befallen him. You speak of doom, as if it were a thing avoidable. If the first man were perish, who is he fear not to miss his end? But it is your wrath that 
led Yepir to meet his doom. No, you know. What now? Do you hear that noise? Yes, I do. It sounds like a horn to me. There it goes again. It must be Yepir's horn. Yes, with no doubt. That must be him. For he told us the horn would signal his return. Yes. And that means my ancestral spear is back. Yes. My spear is back. Yes. There he comes. Oh, brother, the lost one. Gipir, son of Luo. Is this actually you? No. This is my destroyed state. Without the gods of Luo, how was the wilderness? Here, the spear comes home. I can now breathe once more. My ancestral spear indeed! The fool! This is overwhelming! Now we know! Yes. Take that calabash and the spear into the heart. I must build a shrine there and I must take white gold for a sacrifice. Yes! He is gone! He is guilty! For one day, he said, The fool! What will our ancestors say, seeing that I have sent our brother to do? And what did you say? What can a man as fable as I say? Who will defend me against his anger? No, the fool! You have fooled yourself! You could stand up against Nyabongo. If he's saying overwhelm him, you could run a mock too. And that would quiet him. And what happened to you? You have been away for so long. Nyawino, you are not going to tell all that I say to Nyabongo. For that would wreck blood. You see, you should trust me more than that. What hmm? happened? How was the wilderness? The wilderness I met was different from where we live. Really? There are well beasts of different tribes. Huh? Snakes. Big headed vipers. What? Lions. Leopards. Hyenas. Rhinoceroses with the horns. And name them. Man. How did you survive all this? I was determined to find the spear. Mm. I followed the footprint of the elephant. In this way, I ate wild fruits. Uh. I became nothing but skeleton. I was beaten by hailstorms. One day, Something strange happened to me. What was that? I was half asleep. When suddenly I saw a dismal figure. Big as an elephant. Oh. <coughs> then quickly turned into an elephant. Later, turned into an old woman. Then she led me into her house, bleak and without sunshine. And what happened? I was not frightened. I didn't even know I was frightened. Then the, the old woman of the forest said, took me to a room where there were many spears, mm. spears of different forms. Then she said, take your spear from that row. And you took? Yes. She later said, but if you hold a spear again at an elephant, you shall forever be hunted by elephants. It was then that I realized it was the spirit of an elephant dressed like an old woman. Did you hear that? Then she, gave, she went on saying, 
swear that you will not touch our race again. And you swore? I swore. It was not easy. Then she gave me a bead. Whitest baby stood to wear as a guard against the forest beast. For it is a realm of departed spirit. Spirit offended and spirit revengeful. And so I walked out of the forest, though it was days and days and days before I was out of the forest. And where is the bead? It is in the calabash you took into the heart. Oh, poor man. You bought all these hardships, Nipir? Nyabongo, <coughs> Nipir. Did the elephant woman say anything about Nyabongo's anger? Yes. Then Nyabongo spied against me. Was too sharp and would destroy our generation. The spider was in love. Mother. What now? The child has swallowed a white stone. Where were you looking when it did? The food. That may be my deed. That was given to me by the old elephant woman. For it is white. <laughs> this is another fright. <laughs> what is that cry for? Something snatches your house in disorder, brother. I must find it out. My precious bead is just as valuable as the Pongo spear. I will not forget. To, I will not forget this time. I don't believe. A stone? I cannot forget the suffering so soon. I cannot forget the suffering so soon. Brother, do not ask for his heart a return. As he asks from you, we are brothers, triplets from the same womb, same blood. Man, I cannot forget the suffering so soon. What will you do then if the child cannot give up the beat? Do not ask for what I shall do. Ask your brother Nyapongo. When I lost his fear, did he care to find it himself? That chap cry, I fear. They are trying to force the bead out of the shy. Nipir, we have tried to pluck the bead out of the shy. But as if the act is cast, we are free. Nyapongo, what I want is my bead, nothing else. You know a child is human being. Yes. And most precious, mm. we can't get the bead out without cutting open the child's stomach. So, brother, I implore you, accept a replacement. A replacement? Last time you asked me a replacement? Nyabongo, what do you think I am made of? You accuse me of playing ribbing with your wife as if you are not from the same blood. You do not care in what hazard you spawn me when you refuse to take another spear. You bellowed at me. You did not know I would have my time for, re for revenge. And yet it is today and now. I want my bid. I want my bid. The pay. You forget this is my home to my child. I will cut open with this knife to get to an evil beat. The yeah, bongo. Yeah. Stop behaving like an old witch. You tell me that Come I want my him, him. man. Leave me now. You have served that coward. Leave me alone. I will go to get to an evil beat. Right here. Wait. Let me go and call the high priest. I will go to get to an evil beat. No, bongo, no! Not my child! No, bongo!
Like you are not brothers from the same blood. Have you not known the traditions of the law? It is my duty. I, Ovungu, the high priest, to tell you the tradition of Luo people. According to the Luo, when blood brothers conflict, and fail to resolve the matter peacefully. We separate them to go and live far from one another by performing a ritual called a rocker so that when in future they meet, death does not reign among the people. So as the brothers have failed to resolve the matter, now we are going to have the uh, Aroka performed right here. Bring the food you have prepared and we have the Aroka carried out here. them down. Nipir, pick your food. Nyabongo, take this food and eat. And Nyabongo, pick from your plate. Gipir, take this food and eat. Now, as you have decided to go and live far away from one another, I, the high priest, separate you with these acts. So that when you live in your different places, you will not forget these acts you are going to cast in the Nile water. Oshak, bring the axe we cast it deep in, in the Nile water, in separation. Hold one spear. I hold it. Not for a fight, but to swear. To swear indeed. Hold it high. Let its blade shimmer with the glow. And you must swear to part forever. Swear never to meet again as brothers. But as enemies in the battlefield. And not to spare one another. Oshak. Bring the axe, we cast it deep in the Nile waters in separation. Yes, I will be on the east of the Nile. I will be on the west, so that the crashing river divides us. To you, the Molder! To you, the nameless one. To you, the ancestral spirits. We solemnly take this vow. Listen to me very well. Listen to the words of the gods. 
Today the brothers have decided to depart one another. So to you the crowd, you will decide who among them to follow. I, Ovungo, the high priest, will remain the custodians of this place. Journey well and may the gods protect you all.